Okay, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for Friday, August 5th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got Crystal Sage Incense, Personal Readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgo's coming with the Three of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Very important energy that's going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, all right? A lot of you guys have been doing the best you guys can to take care of yourself, heal yourselves as well. You guys have gone through so much pain, so much betrayal, and not only that, Virgos, you guys are still having a really hard time from being able to walk away from this person with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Maybe this person was able to just get up and leave you and had no... Uh, <sighs> They had no fucking feelings for when they actually walked away from you, Virgos. It's just very fucking mean energy. Uh, Eight of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles, right? They betrayed you. They hurt you. They, You guys really thought it was, it was everything was okay with the Three of Cups. But in turn, you had no choice but to sit down and heal yourselves with the Three of Cups energy. You guys are doing really well. But this did cause you guys a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of... It came to a complete ending because they had... They pretty much gave you no freaking choice. Um, you guys had felt really bad about it with the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups in reverse because of the way that they walked away from you was like they were so prideful about it. But for you guys, you don't feel like it was nice at all. Uh, Eight of Cups, a lot of you guys still cannot walk away from this person emotionally. However, though, you guys are healing yourself, which is very important. So some of you guys might be partying, doing your thing, but please do not exceed it, Virgos, and actually do the healing work for yourselves. So that way you can actually heal yourselves from this betrayal that this person has caused you. Ten of sword energy. You guys are so loving and so beautiful. Maybe you guys want to cut down on the drinking and start drinking a lot more water. You want to guys want to stay much more hydrated. There is an energy shift that's going to be coming in, which is needing you guys to be very grounded and very much so hydrated, Virgos. The energy is shifting. The world is shifting. Portals and... Kazimis and the whole nine you need to stay hydrated especially for the light workers and people who are very very sensitive to energy shifts as well this is going to be able to bring you guys a new opportunity for you with the ace of wands and the knight of wand energy you guys want to make sure that you're also going to be very much so patient with the things that you guys are saying as well i do believe Virgos, that this person is going to be coming back towards you guys again somebody here is trying to run away from a sagittarius or a gemini libra aquarius they don't want to hear nothing this person has to say at all they're really going to be freaking dipping out on them and trying to come back towards you guys and hoping that they can give to you with the six of pentacles seven of pentacles and the empress card it could be an aries a taurus a libra a sagittarius however though virgos and some of you guys might be mothers or you just come off as somebody who can be a mother all right someone who's very loving and nurturing and who feels simply like home uh, however, though, Virgos, this person is going to come towards you with the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the Empress card. <laughs> seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Empress. They want to come towards you. But the thing is, Virgos, you guys have been, you guys have been, you, you want a relationship that's going to be able to give and take. Like, I give you 50, you give me 50. Like, you know, like, fucking balance it out, the fuck? You guys have really been doing the best you guys can to plant yourself, your seeds, to manifest. And it's finally growing. Your harvest is, is is nearly here or it's already been here. And you guys are being able to see the success that's officially coming out of it. And now you guys are in that Empress energy. You're vibing at a very high frequency. When you're sitting at a high frequency like this, you attract everything in the world. You can create anything you want in the world when you're at a very, very high frequency. When you're at a very low vibration, you attract low vibrational shit. Either level up or get the fuck out. One or the other. You guys leveled the fuck up, so get everything in the world that you want. Seven of Pentacles. Congratulations, Virgos, on that, all right? Um, there's going to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Taurus who's very much so stressed out up at the moment. This person wants so much control and power, and it's really tormenting them, too, with the Nine of Swords energy. Like, they're really being affected by this uh, as well. Some of you guys may be turning your back away from an Aries, Taurus, a Libra. Simply, and even if it does cause you stress, you're like, you know, I don't even care. Like, you, you, you simply don't fucking care if it causes you stress. You just don't want to have anyone control you or anything like that. I expect communication coming in, Virgos, from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Leo, Pisces. I do see some crazy energy that's going to be coming in. It looks like a portal is going to be coming in for you guys on August the 8th is how I'm seeing this. They're saying, oh, Leo energy, Virgos, the fuck? This is the Lion Gates portal, Virgos. 
Go Virgos, go Virgos, go. You guys are going to be manifesting and manifesting and manifesting. Congratulations, Virgos. You guys are going to be so amazing and so great. When this person comes towards you, it may simply be on the 8-8 energy, Virgos. Uh, August 8th is coming in for you guys. Uh, the Kazemi effect, the portal, it's wide open. And a lot of you guys are going to be manifesting. Somebody here who's very much so successful, who might be an Earth sign, Air, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Leo, Pisces, they're going to want to try and contact you to be like, hey, you want to go out? But you guys are acting so fucking sneaky about it with the seven of sword energy because a lot of you guys are witches or you're manifestors and you do your thing, Virgos. So you're going to be, so this person's probably going to catch the energy and be like, well, why is it that you're being really sneaky? So maybe they think, they might think that you're doing something bad behind their back or you just come off as someone who's very sneaky but you don't want this person to know what it is that you do or how it is that you manifest or whatever. You want to keep it to yourself. Seven of Swords to the Moon card to the Sun card. <laughs> it's so fucking cute. It's so cute. Energy Virgos, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is how you've been moving. This is how you're always going to move, Virgos. And and maybe this per you might feel like this person's not going to understand the things that you do. So you'd rather keep it to yourself. It's like, fine, you think I'm sneaky? Okay, cool, whatever. At the end of the day, you know yourself, Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> so no matter what this person thinks, the, yeah, they see you as a Nine of Cups, of course. You know, they see you as a person who can who has everything that they need, who's a manifester, who's happy, who's doing their thing, Nine of Pentacles, who's single, abundant. And then when this <clears throat> portal comes in, they're going to be wanting to see you. And you guys are going to be acting a little bit sneaky in a way, but it's not bad sneaky, Virgos. It's sneaky in a way that you just don't want this person to know what it is that you're doing. And I think this person is going to be, like, wondering what... They, they're, they're just... They're like, well, what do you do? They might think that you're with somebody else, but you're not. You're not. You're doing your own thing, and you're manifesting during the portal energy. It is what it is. Not everyone's going to understand the work that you do, or not everyone's going to understand how it is that you manage, or how you choose to get to where it is that you need to be when, when it comes to these portal things. Not everybody understands spirituality, Virgos, and that's fine. So if you feel like you're not ready to open up yourself to this person, let them know exactly what it is that you're doing. You don't have to. Nine of Pentacles. You're still doing your thing regardless. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. You're still doing your thing. You're like, okay, I guess I... In your mind, you're like, okay, if you think I'm a cheater, I guess I'm a cheater. Like, you just simply don't fucking care because you're not going to allow anything or anybody to come in the way of what it is that's so important to you, especially on a spiritual level, right? And if that is the case, Virgos, you don't care. You simply don't fuck. I, I'm serious. You guys just, you you don't care. You don't care because you don't, you already know yourself. So you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. But this beautiful energy is coming in for you guys. Lionsgate energy, August 8th. It's a, it's energy of good luck, abundance, prosperity. So manifest the shit out of everything because it looks like everything's going to be coming towards you anyway. And this person's going to think that you're doing some sneaky ass shit or you got somebody else behind the scene. But realistically, you actually don't. And it's just the way that you guys are moving around this person. You're like, well, I'm a little bit busy. They're probably going to be thinking like, why are you acting like that? But you're not ready to let this person know like, hey, this is the work that I do. I'm, you know, I'm manifesting. <laughs> Not everybody understands it. You're going to keep it to yourself. Seven of Swords. They might think you're sneaky, but you're not. You're just like, people don't get it. And that, that's okay. Like, what are you going to do? Be like, oh my God, it's the Lion's Gate portal. I have to go manifest. They're going to be like, <gasps> astrology? You look into the planet? Uh, they're going to fucking freak out. You're, at, you're minding your own business, Virgos, all right? So, so cute. Do your thing. Who cares, Virgos? Who gives a fuck what other people are thinking anyway, all right? So you guys are going to have to make a decision. You guys do have money on the way for you guys as well, but there's going to be somebody from the past who's going to be coming back towards you at the after the fact that they're, they've they been thinking quite a bit. They've been thinking quite a bit on you, Virgos. They've been missing you, thinking about you. They want to come towards you. They want to speed up the, the action. So this portal of the August 8th energy is going to bring a couple people back from the past who's going to be apologizing to you, and they're coming in very, very fast, Virgos. Like, they're already, like... They're like energetically, they're already on the way. They just gonna need to get their body moving pretty much. And that offers coming in page of cups. So it's like, yes, <laughs> yeah. you're doing your thing, Virgos. This person's contacting you. They're, gonna, they're ready to make an offer to apologize to you. And they miss you incredibly. Like they miss you so fucking much. So this portal energy is gonna make them miss you like 
It's going to be, everything's going to be so much more heightened. You need to stay hydrated. It's very important for you, Virgos. Please stay hydrated and take care of yourself. Something about a fucking, you guys are going to be like, someone's going to be eating like salmon or something. You guys are going to be eating salmon. Somebody here loves sushi as well. You know, somebody here is going to be invited out to eat some sushi. You guys are going to go. <laughs> but that that portal is very important for you guys, Virgos. So do expect you guys to be going through that portal. You guys are going to be enjoying it. It's going to be bringing you guys in finances, success, abundance. And, you know, Virgos, maybe even a new relationship. But more so the relationship from a past is going to be coming back towards you guys. This person is missing you like crazy. And they're already on their way. They're on their way already. Like now, they're on their way to you, okay? This person's been thinking about you a lot, really curious about what it is you've been up to here with the Page of Swords to the Knight of Cups, and uh, they've been holding their energy back, but now that they're looking at things at a higher perspective, uh, they're ready to get this ball rolling again. They're ready to come back for you, full card Virgos. Uh, they've been really stuck in their head a lot because they know that you are home for a wand and they need to come back and fight for the connection. A lot of you guys may have reached out to this person and they did not contact you, Virgos. But you know, with the star energy, so the this is gonna the, this energy is gonna be in the star of Sirius, Virgos. Is that how you say it? Serious, serious. Okay, that plant, that star is very, very beautiful, especially when it's going to be in the alignment with the sun energy. Is how I'm seeing it. They're saying something about how it's going. The serious star will be in the alignment of the sun energy. <sighs> so take that into consideration, or do your googling. I'm not Google Barbie Virgos. Just do. do, 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 do. <laughs> Do your thing. Educate yourself. <laughs> All right. Let's see. <laughs> this nine of pentacles keeps jumping. What you doing, gal? All right. So that means you guys are really not going to allow anyone to get in your fucking way of you being able to manifest. Are you going through this portal? Are you going through not just the lines gate, but any portal for that matter? If you got work to do under any energy work that you guys got to do under any portal, you're going to get it done. You're like, everybody can put you put on pause. You don't care. This is very important for you guys. And you're not going to play it like it's a joke. You guys are going to be doing your thing and because of the fact that you guys are so because of the fact Virgos that you guys are so independent and you're so self-sufficient if people are not going to understand you on how it is that you choose to move around and they want to look at you like you're cunning or that you're fucking sneaky or you're lying and cheating and when you're not because you're not, because you're the Nine of Pentacles. When you're a Nine of Pentacles like this, you're very loving, you're very faithful, you're very loyal. This is a Nine of Pentacles, somebody who is okay with being alone and somebody who doesn't chase nothing and nobody. They attract everything and everyone. So if you don't understand what this Nine of Pentacles is up to or doing when it comes to these portals and you have a, some sort of fishy attitude towards this astrology stuff and the planets and things, just leave this Nine of Pentacles alone. Like, don't even fucking waste your time because at the end of the day, this stuff is so much more important for this Nine of Pentacles than having somebody here uh, think that you're doing something sneaky when you're absolutely not. Like You don't have time to fucking explain yourself. It's either you're about it or you're not. And from what I'm seeing, you're going to keep it a secret. You're going to do it in hidden action, Virgos, and doing what you need to do. So however this person chooses to... Cho oh my God. However this person how much <laughs> however this person chooses to perceive you to be, that's on them, not on you. Uh star card Virgos, excuse me. Uh so this is all right, Virgos. So there could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, who obviously wants to be with you. This person loves you very much, but there's a lot of heartache and a lot of pain here at the same time. Or you know, Virgos, and it's a lot of pain, a lot of betrayal here as well. And you're really going to have to go within with the Four of Swords on trying to figure out whether or not you want to give your time to somebody who is always going to be so cautious around you. You know, as you guys have a great connection with them, with the with the star card to the love to the lovers, but some of you guys have a lot of abandonment issues at the same time, and maybe that's why you guys are always single and alone because you know that damn well that once you guys open yourselves up or on even an intimate connection, it immediately turns into something so painful, right? And you guys don't have time to be going back with the five of cups, like being really really sad and hurt and. Of course, Virgos, uh, depressed and regretful and feeling horrible about yourself. You don't have time for anyone to make you feel fucked up. 
you know, and it's nothing to do with you. Just do your thing, Virgos. Live your life. Be you. Fuck everything else at the end of the day. So you, there may be an argument that's going to be coming in, but you guys are always going to be on top of your game. Six of Wands, High Priestess, very powerful energy. You are so powerful, Virgo. So it's like every time this person wants to argue with you, you put them in check. <laughs> you check them every fucking time because you're the High Priestess. You're all-knowing, you know, and sometimes you guys feel like at the same time, like you, you're like, you already knew this was going to come. Like, you already knew that this argument was going to come, right? Because not everyone's going to be aligned with your energy. Uh, at the end of the day, sweethearts, you know, everything will eventually be fine. Excuse me. Everything's going to be absolutely fine at the end of the day. So this Cancer Pisces Scorpio is going to be contacting you again, Virgos. I see that you're somebody who's very loving, very beautiful, very quiet, very highly intuitive. They are going to be reaching out to you. Two Pentacles, Six of Wands. They simply want to be with you. Ten of Pentacles. They want to fight for this connection. They want to be with you, of course. And you're going to have to really make a decision on whether or not you're going to want to be with them. Straight up. Tower card. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups energy. Somebody here is also going to end up going to jail, Virgos, and that's how you guys are going to end up ending this connection for some of you guys yeah okay um however though virgos this person you guys are gonna end up having to make a decision on whether or not you're gonna want them or not because you guys are so highly intuitive it's like you guys are already able to see where the connection is gonna end up going um regardless of this person is a little bit scared that they're not going to be able to have you in the end the connection is going to just end completely tower card there could be a gemini libra aquarius <sighs> That you guys had ended a relationship here with. And the cycle's done and over with, Virgos. You guys also have a Taurus who may be trying to come back towards you guys, but the energy is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, Virgos. That's the hangman to the to the death card, to the world card, to the judgment card. Fucking no. No way. Absolutely not. Alright? Sorry, but no. Okay, there could be a, a a younger Aries Leo Sagittarius who's been going through a lot, Virgos. If you guys are married to somebody here and you guys have got a child, this child is going through a lot of burdens at the same time. Please always take care of your children, Virgos. If, you want, if you're married and you got youth and stuff, always take care of your kids because sometimes you guys don't even realize how much it's impacting the child. So always care for your child. Take them out. Do that. Let them have fun. Let them kind of like forget you guys are having problems like you should not be showing your children your all everything that you guys are going through or what it is that you guys are going through you, a child do not take your kids innocence away from them let them be fucking kids at the end of the day do not let them have burden in their life because of what you choose to do what is going on between you and your man or you and your husband is specifically between the two of you guys. You should not be showing that shit to your fucking kids. Let them be kids. Let them fucking be children. Let them do their fucking thing. Instead of always being in the fucking middle of you guys' drama. The fuck why? Knight of Swords, Virgos. You guys need to do... Somebody here needs to do a little bit better. You gotta do better. You gotta do better, alright? It's very fucking toxic negative energy that you guys got your kids living around. <sighs> Try and do a bit better, Virgos, all right? Take your kids out. Let them go have fun. Um, how, I know that sounds fucking mean, but straight up. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Actually, I'm not fucking sorry. I want this kid to be fucking fun. I want them to live their life and be happy instead of having to be, go through misery because two adults can't get their shit to fuck together. It's so rude. For the why. For the fuck who are why, Virgos, all right? Uh, at the end of the day, yeah, you guys are going to be filing for a divorce from this person. You guys are not going to want nothing to do with them anymore. All right, and you guys are going to end up having to meet up with the Lord to figure out what you guys are going to end up having to do afterwards. Also, Virgos, you guys got an Aries Leo Sagittarius who is very fucking low vibrational, toxic energy at the same time. This person is going to be receiving their karma. Everything that this person receives in their life, they're not liking it anymore. All of a sudden, they don't like nothing anymore. They don't like that plate. They don't like that cup. They don't like that fucking way that this person is dressed. They don't. Everything is irritating this person to a whole other extent. All right, and that's their karma, justice, because what they put out into the world was a much more heavier than their heart. And for that, this is a very low vibrational person, somebody who chooses to have a lot of power. And that's not how you're supposed to enjoy life. That's not how you're supposed to get things done. You're not supposed to do things because you feel like you got power. So you just fucking, no, you got to be a little bit more humble than that. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles as well. <sighs> Maybe this person's not getting paid a whole lot now all of a sudden. She's just not. Is this uh, things are not working out for this king of wands for whatever reason all right virgos and eventually 
yeah, things are not working out for this person all of a sudden. Because somebody here made a lot of business offers or a lot of business deals for their own selfish gain with the Five of Swords. And that's simply not allowed. Like, spiritual... spirit. No, that's not allowed. You don't you don't use spirituality to manipulate energy for you to become successful like this. This is not right. On an Aries Leo Sagittarius, on a Capricorn here, this could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who definitely has Capricorn somewhere in their fucking chart. Absolutely, Virgo. Somebody here made a lot of business offers, a lot of business deals, but for their own selfish gain with the five of swords. How dare you? How dare you? And you use that to boost you. You use that to fucking have power over a lot of other fucking people around you. All right. But go on with yourself because the truth is already here. Ace of Swords. And people are going to fucking see it. And it looks like there's somebody here who fucking sees it. Somebody sees the energy. Somebody sees it. It could be a Virgo who sees the fucking truth for exactly what it is. Also, Virgos, you guys got a Libra who's going to be contacting you very, very soon they're going to be reaching out to you guys, Virgos. This person wants you and they don't want to leave you alone at all whatsoever. There could be a Virgo that you guys was dealing with before in the past. This person sees that they was, they was, they was not treating you right. This person knows, Virgos, that their selfish ways isn't going to help them get you back. And they know that. This person here, this Virgo here, is reflecting on the Five of Swords. They know that that's not how them taking advantage of people or taking advantage of relationships or just simply being only about themselves and then leaving when they want. That's not right and it's not nice to be that way. This person is coming to the realization that they're getting downloads that this is not okay. They should, they cannot be acting like that and treating people like that either. It's not nice, Virgos. All right? This person does deep down have a lot of love for you. So they need to put down these fucking Five Swords and come Come towards you on a genuinely to become towards you genuinely all right and yes virgos oh fuck man all right virgo somebody here was also doing some sort of spell work as well to manifest love uh to virgos uh at the end of the day uh, it is, it, it's a connection, Virgo. regardless, it's still a connection. It could be very, it, the thing is with the three of pentacles to the magician card and to the strength card too, is just that like you have a lot of powerful energy within you that you can prosper, that you can be abundant, you know, uh, three of pentacles, two of cups. And you guys are, are going to do what you need to do because you have all the tools within you as a magician to create what it is that you simply want. You want a family, you want a soulmate, you want to be in a relationship, you want that happy home, you want a family, you can have it because you are the magician. You have everything within you to get whatever it is your heart desires. A lot of you guys are going to be manifesting this during the Lion's Gate energy. And I would say go for it, Virgo, straight up, magician card. Do your thing because the moment you do that, the three of wands is coming for you. You are going to get absolutely everything during the manifestations of the Lion's Gate portal. You do it, Virgos. It's already been in since July 28th. It's going from July 28th to August 8th. And it's going to be at its highest peak on August the 8th. So get your manifestations going because I guarantee you and I promise you, Virgos, if you guys are going to be manifesting the, every every area of your life, I'm telling you, this is not magic. This is not magic. This is you guys literally manifesting what it is that you guys want because it's the Ace of Cups of the Magician to the Three of Pentacles. You guys are simply doing... You guys intend to the end to the Ten of Cups. This is you guys manifesting everything that you guys want. You guys are manifesting love, jobs, work, uh, career, true love, soulmates. You're manifesting it all. This is not aggressive spell work. That's why in so many of the other way, everything is saying like, be patient. Be, you know, don't be greedy. <laughs> There's no need to be greedy. Just fucking manifest the things that are so important for you. You don't need to go more than what you should be going. But you know what? Always go for the most, of course, the most important things and the things that you feel like you need, of course, right? Before it goes, manifest. Manifest the shit out of everything. But also do not be aggressive when you're manifesting, meaning you're not to do black magic during the fucking portal. Everything is supposed to be light. Everything is supposed to be you lightly manifesting it with love. You know what I mean? It's not supposed to be used in a negative way at all. And if somebody here is going to be using it in a negative way, you will not receive your blessings. That's why the five of swords is right there. You will end up getting, you will end up getting really fucked up on a whole other level. The Lion's Gate portal is not for negative manifestations. It's not for black magic. <sighs> 
When you're manifesting something, you have to do it with the most lighthearted energy ever in order for you to receive the things that you guys are wanting. When you work at a frequency like this, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get it. You will get it. But you have to know how to use the energies and you have to know how to use the portals and, and the activations. You have to know how to use these things, Virgos. All right? I don't recommend anybody doing black magic during the Lionsgate portal. If you do, you're fucked on a whole other level. <sighs> so manifest with your highest intentions, with the highest frequency, so you guys can receive the things that you guys want. There could be a Virgo, a Gemini, <clears throat> who is maybe asking their friends, whatever, and they want to come back towards you and they want to see you again. They love you very much, Virgos. This person is going to be coming back to you. And they, they've been taking a while. Some of you guys, this could be reaching almost three years for a lot of you guys. Uh, but between now and October, expect this energy to start manifesting slowly into your life. And they will be back towards you. However, though, you guys have love coming in for you guys, Virgos. And... You guys have been waiting a long time, but all your ships are going to be coming in. Everything you guys are manifesting during the Lionsgate portal, it's coming in for you guys, Virgos. Uh, August 8th is going to be at its highest frequency. Make sure you guys drink a lot, a lot of water, Virgos. Make sure you're staying very much so hydrated, especially for the light workers who are very, very sensitive to energy shifts. Thanks, cuties. Bye.